four inch reach it. And now, five fans, we are set to go with our next matchup tonight. Three rounds. This in the UFC. A fighter standing five feet, ten inches tall, weighing it officially 140. Just one defeat. He fights out of Sydney, Australia. Oh. And across the octagon, weighing it officially 145 pounds. His record stands at 10. Here is Charles and Jason Herzog. Woman set to throw down. You're looking at the biggest favorite on tonight's card in the Canadian Trump. Fight Clock is brought to you by the U.S. Army. Don't blame we knew. <laughs> this one's going to be fireworks. Both of these guys are so tenacious. Uh, after weigh-ins, and Charles Jordan said, I just heard my as excited as it gets to compete here on Fight Island. It's so true, man. And then you hear Dana kind of hype everybody up, talk about the bonuses and everything like that. It's so An interesting now, scramble here, Kulan. Yeah, jordan has got to be a, care, a little careful going to, to Koulibau doing a nice job taking advantage of that right now. And Josh Koulibau trains with after his title defense over Max Holloway here on Fight Island a few months ago. He needs to go a little lower on the hips and pivot to, towards his right. Right balance between being exciting and being successful. If you, right. If you're a wild man in there. And Charles Jordan is, but he's also very positioned. Showed a lot of patience there, Jordan. Well, Jordan, for he said, it's the biggest thing in MMA and staying calm and putting together. Oh, it's a huge thing. Experience means better decision on those punches and kicks. Timing on those flying knees as well if you're a... Jordan going to the legs and Koulibau throwing to the body and the head really nice. But there this he was, goes. Ross. This was the situation that Koulibau found him from a distance. Oh, oh wow, nice. that was a good look. There, man. Yep. That hit the sweet spot. Oh, Koulibau! Jordan's down, surviving. Oh. Is he going to finish this guillotine? Jordan knows he's in danger. He backs up to the, the question is how dazed is he from that shot as well? Trying yeah, he's back off. up. I think there's some damage. Yeah, that's his nose bleeding there. Charles Jordan for the moment. Almost 90 seconds to go. Got to watch that guillotine. Yeah, I was going to say, now Jordan chasing the submission. Per breathing out of his mouth. We can already hear it from the commentary booth because the nose is going to... now. That's a lot of blood, blood very quickly. So, like you said, that jaw's going to be loose, going to be open because he's breathing out of his mouth. Still has more than 45 seconds to work here in the first round. On with his hand, but Kulibau is going to keep scrambling. Nice work there. And so some big moments for each of these guys in this first round. Uh, marching forward, throwing good kicks. Seconds here. Keep it here for now. We're going to check in. I agree with you. Hello. Time to go south. Pan now, man. Who puts to this? Throw volumes. Throw volumes and set him back. Ah, he got this one. The impactful shot of that first round. Josh Kulibau crashing. So we'll see how Jordan deals with power shots and a submission attempt from Koulibau. Also, that liver. Well, that was the call in the corner. They did tell him to stop. With opposite stances, it allows him to work that power kick. Oh, wow. Jump into the kick. Doing a good job of controlling the octagon a bit more here as well. Balls. He's got to be careful of that, though, when he's pretty kicks. Jordan staying busy with the left leg. Again, Josh Poole about the biggest. I don't feel like we know a great deal about the individual. Right. I mean, you know, he came into the U.S. for weight class against the guy that was clearly far more, far bigger than the, the energy around Cole about this week when we were speaking to him. So now he's a full-time dedicated MMA fighter. We're Dan doing a good job still good landing job. to those legs. But good. Uh, Continue, but cool about blinking it out. Yeah, young man. So they got to poke myself in the eye. They shouldn't call timeout. Just ask Ed Herman. Here from Jordan, who now has the back standing up and swings on the break. Yeah, and then some beautiful kicks to the body. Looking to counter one another. Kulibau knows he's got good counter punches, though. From Kulibau. Right. Oh, there's a right hand over the pressure from Jordan, but he, you just you just get the feeling that he's this distance. Because Kulibau is doing a good job of throwing these kicks. At. He's staying very safe. He's not getting hit with very hard punches. The gun. Mixing up the attack with punches and kicks and to the body and head. As well, he's, when he switches to southpaw, he works the body when he's switching to throw the moment. Nice overhand left there. Caught. There from Jordan. Sneaky. 
change level. Oh. Uh, now do we have another submission attempt here from... It's problematic for Charles Jordan to be able to... Look oh. He's just got to watch his neck every time he keeps diving. Some good work to the body there from Jordan in top position. And a big message sent of Jordan can end... Put your ass on. Put some water. In through your nose, out through your mouth. That's two. And have active feet. That's what's destroying his shots. Your active feet. Hey. Yeah. Right. And answer. He... UFC Fight Night is presented by the false start. Yeah, exactly. Good, good call there. Then the, they thought Jordan would throw caution to the wind here in the third. So Got his hands locked under the butt here. Position. Flew it out. Expected to show it. Certainly looks like it's paying off here through 10 minutes. Absolutely it does. He's conditioned. Oh, Jordan trying to end things. Just oh, 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 getting busy. The cool about corner said he's gonna come out guns blazing. Shot some good punches. But I'm impressed with how cool about stays calm under fire like that. The octagon very nicely there. But Jordan still putting the pressure on right now. Down to the right for the moment. Does he leap in with another flow blow there? But the action continues. Yeah, we've seen this position a few times now. Top levels and Jordan's response is super fast. Jordan, does he have that left arm under the chin? He needs to get that leg free, I think, if he's going to be able to... Uh, he's got to watch the back of the head there. Hammer fist from Jordan as he tries to mitigate the damage. Yeah, but he can't do that. He can't accept this position. So difficult to know. With, with that big shot and, and hurt his nose. But then the second round, guillotine attempts several times. Both landing kicks. Very evenly matched fight here, so I feel like the uh, it's just because of the unknown aspect of Kuliba. We don't know yes, what. Looking at the strike, Charles wow. Jordan is now one strike ahead. These are, these are. What did he think that, that it was a groin strike? Oh, oh. Look at this. Is he going to attack this arm? Got to watch the elbow to the top of the head there. That's You're right. It looks like that, but as long as he's on his side, he's, he's attacking good that elbow. Yeah. That looks tight. Jordan. This is a big round for Rich. Uh, He's going oh, to pop his hips up here. He's putting it under the armpit. Hips up, he might be able to get this submission finish. The tough man. Nice what, what do the last 30 seconds have? Significant strikes heavily in the favor of Jordan in these final five minutes. Fighting here to the end. Ten seconds left. Does Jordan have another take. lead? And these two featherweights go. We'll see how the judges saw this one when we come back on ESPN+. Plus. Joe Martinez. Judge Corchi scores it 30 27. Jordan has it 28 28. This is a split draw. Jordan and Josh Kulibau, 130 27. It's always kind of awkward when that happens, but yeah. certainly what we expect. I don't know who I think this is about to go to right now. I mean, both got. I'm no judge. I'm not good at that. I'm watching this live and as it goes. That is a draw for Charles Jordan. 